I try to take good care of my tools, but every once in a while, something happens and something might get left out in the rain. So if this happens to you before you throw away your tools, I'm gonna to show you how you can restore them and make them like new. So the first thing that you're gonna to need to do is find yourself a container that can fit the tool. Next, throw the tool into the container. Grab yourself some vinegar and soak the tool and make sure that it's completely submerged. Then grab some table salt and pour that all over the tool in the rusted area. From there, just let it soak for 24 hours. After it's soaked for at least 24 hours, pull it out and use a small wire brush to brush in all the little crevices and make sure there's no rust left over on the tool. And then you can take a dry rag and clean off all the vinegar and salt. From there, grab some WD-40, squirt a little bit on the tool, and wipe it off with a dry rag, and your tool should be good as new. Restoring my new dumbbells. Weights are not cheap right now, so you gotta do what you gotta do. Here's the supplies I used. First thing we're gonna use is this brush. We're gonna knock off any of that surface rust that you can see we've got plenty of it. Mostly looking for the loose stuff here. I end up using the bigger brush. I don't know why I started with this small brush. Three in one oil. See there, it penetrates the rust. We are actually gonna use it on the bar itself. I'm trying to get deep into that neural. Um, that way I can get the most out of the neural. It's probably pretty beat. Take a look. After we do this, at least you can see the neural you couldn't before. Then we put it in white vinegar and water to soak. Part two already posted. Part two of restoring my rusty old dumbbells. Last part, we talked about getting all this surface rust off. This is the vinegar we soaked it in. Now it's time to get all that rust off with this baby. This thing made it super easy to get all that surface rust off. You can see here it cleans it up pretty nicely. Cleaning up all that rust. Here's a before and after with that drill piece. One on the left here was still soaked in the vinegar. The other one we cleaned up. Took the drill to the other one and started painting. This is Rust-Oleum and here's the finished product. Turned out much nicer than I expected. And my 50s are done. Just a few more to go. Here's with the paint on the numbers. Turned out great. Hey, what's up guys? Let's restore this old walk. So this pan was screwed because I let it stay outside and forgot about it. So I'm gonna put a household cleaning product on it and I'm gonna scrub off the majority of the hard rust. I've got a lot left, so I'm gonna allow this household product to soak for three hours and I'm gonna come back in and scrub it off use my grill brush i'm going to do the same to the other side and then i'm going to apply a thin layer of oil and bake it off at 500 until my smoke alarms go off and that is going to set our first layer of seasoning finally i'm going to apply one last thin coat of oil and our wok is back from the dead so what i'm doing now is going to just wipe off the excess oil i just want a thin coat the mistake i made last time was storing it outdoors and just kind of forgetting very satisfied with the final product.
Watch me bring this old rusty cast iron skillet back to life. Cast iron skillets are really, really good for frying chicken because it holds its heat. Now you can use it for a whole lot of other stuff, but that's what this was generally made for. It. So I'm going to teach you how to clean it and season it. So um, I have a sink full of water with baking soda and vinegar in here. And I'm basically going to soak the uh, cast iron skillet for about 30 minutes just to help loosen up that rust. And so I added some more baking soda into this, uh, the skillet and I'm cleaning it. And I add a little bit of non-soap in there just to clean up front and back to get the rest of that rust off. Now you can see it's dry, so I'm going to dry with the towel. And you can already see that it looks a whole lot better. But we have to season it so it's, it can become non-stick and it'll be better cooking food. So here is some Crisco canola oil and I'm just going to oil the pan down front and back. Put it in the oven for 500 on 500 degrees for about one hour. Let it stay in there until it cools off. And then once you take it out, you have this glossy cat. Today I'm going to show you how I restore my 36 inch Blackstone grill. Turn the heat all the way up high and then scrape that rust off as much as you can get. You bless that thing with some vegetable oil, you get you a grill brush, and then you get the scrub and let's get all the rust off. Now from here, get a paper towel, and you just wipe it until that paper towel is clean. See the first one is dirty, second one is dirty. Add some more oil to it, keep wiping. As you see here, this is going to be clean. You see, that's nothing but oil. It took about 30 to 40 minutes to see the first one, dirty, second one, nothing but oil. I grabbed the grape seed, now we season it. Turn the fire on extra high and let the oil and the metal come together and voila, ready to be reused again. Chef Timbo out! If you have kind of rusty garden tools, you can put it into a jar of vinegar overnight. That takes off most of it, but you still have to hit it with a little steel wool. So all the rust is in there, and this new, shiny, oiled up garden tool is ready for some epic action. Uh-huh. Added a little transmission oil. That's my own magic recipe. 24 hours later. Oh la la. Better than you. <laughs>